Hi, in this video we want to look at how to reference a selection of cells, so the cells that you already have selected, how to reference the active cell, and we'll look at the difference between selected cells and active cell in a minute, but also how to reference the current region. So let's start off with selection. So if I select these cells, I may want to, for example, change the background colour. Well, all you need to do is say uh, selection. Uh, and then to change the background colour, you use the interior property. And then specify a colour, which we could say is VB red, for example. Okay, so if I play that, there we are, they're all red. Now, uh, let's look at the active cell object. So the active cell, if you're not aware of this, is the, when you, when you select cells, multiple cells, you can see that the first cell you select doesn't have such a dark shading on it uh, through the selection. That's the active cell, it's essentially the first cell you select. So we want you to format that with a different color, interior.color. Get the IntelliSense list when you use the active cell object, but you don't with the selection object for some reason. Um, so we'll say that's VB blue. If I play that, that now becomes blue. So the other thing I want to show you was the current region object. So the current region is basically, if you select a cell, the re current region for that would be up to an empty column and an empty row. So, um, specify that, I'd say, um, well, let's start with the selection. Um, dot current region. It literally is that, as you would say, selection dot current region dot interior dot color equals the B yellow. how that works I'll play that there we are they're all yellow okay so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular uh, tutorial uh, thank you very much for listening and watching and hopefully that's been useful